We're going to start with some breaking news. Today, more allegations of sexual harassment against Clearwater State Senator Jack LaDefala, who's running for governor. Now seven women have stepped forward claiming that he groped them or made demeaning statements about their bodies. LaDefala maintains that he is innocent, but he has yet to speak about this publicly. Also breaking today, LaDefala was removed as chair of the Appropriations Committee. Women all across the country began sharing their personal stories soon after the sexual assault allegations were made against the media mogul Harvey Fierce, uh, Weinstein. And in much the same way, these new accusations against Senator Latvala are beginning to mount after the initial allegations were made against him. News Channel's Paul Mueller is joining us live in the Tampa newsroom tonight to talk a little bit more about that because you hear this story, Paul, and you wonder how far this goes back, how many women might come forward when it comes to the senator. So many people, Keith, told me today, decades, that's how far it goes back. They say the sex, the secrets, the silence. Young women afraid saying no would mean an end to their political career. It's absolutely the tip of the iceberg. With the allegations swirling around Jack Latvala, what could be perhaps Tallahassee's worst kept secret is blown wide open. It'll be like a police corruption story. The first one goes, and then all the other the lieutenants. The domino effect? Yes, exactly. With more than two decades keeping an eye on state politics, Peter Squartz, publisher of FloridaPolitics.com and Influence Magazine, is not surprised. It's the most good old boy network you've ever seen. It is literally smoke-filled rooms. There's absolutely a culture of sex and secrets up in Tallahassee. So much so, there was prominent lobbyists this weekend who were saying that sex is traded for success on their legislative priority. Now, part of the culture that lasted up until just a few years ago, the annual Miss Rotunda contest, and that's where a group of men, Capital Insiders, selected who they considered to be the most beautiful female intern that year. This was the woman they chose back in 2006, and over here, Another woman chosen as well. I spoke with her over the phone today. She didn't want to discuss it, telling me that was too long ago. I have had people who have suggested that job opportunities might be given if certain things were to happen. A Democratic consultant who has worked on Florida political campaigns for more than two decades, Shannon Love says she's one of countless victims. So there were so many people who came up to you and with unwanted sexual advances that you can't even remember the number? Oh, no. Not even if I tried. And Love went on to tell me this is really a double-edged sword, she says. Good that women are coming out. Not so good, though, that most men aren't telling other men they need to change this culture. As for Scorch's wife, she claims she, too, was a victim. The question now, obviously, how many more women will come forward, if any women, Keith, at all? Right, Paul Mueller reporting from our Tampa newsroom. Thank you.